Good morning. Guess who's back? Back again. Graham's back. So what are you up to? Um, if you have a look in the back of my boat, this mount that we built for our water injection pumps mounted the pump very low to the floor level, like uh, yeah, like so. And if you look in the back of my boat, it's uh, quite low to the ground, to the base of the boat. And the pump itself even says on it that it's not waterproof. So now that we've mounted the water methanol tanks and they're reasonably high, we can afford to lift the mount of the pump up. So I'm going to cut this bracket off and I'm going to flip it over the other way and mount the pump up there because we can. Right. So I've cut the existing bracket up and uh, prepared it ready for welding. So there she is. Basically flip that up the other way. So now weld it to the top. So Devin's gonna tack that up now. as well I think it's right so yeah rip into it right out. got that I got that just for reference sake so that's our hydraulic block and the changeover between the two so there it is all modified welded back on the other way now I'm going to chuck it back in, well I'm not going to chuck it, I'm going to uh, bolt it back in and then um, do the wiring for these bad boys. Uh, that's the solenoid for the block that I was talking about that I uh, didn't have, um, so I have to wire that into that other loom as well. Yep. Pulled the box out. Pull the box out, uh, I'm going to put those glands, so these are the glands that I'm going to use for those uh, crank and cam sensor wires. So I don't know if you know much about glands, but inside there is a little rubber grommet and when you twist it up it um, clamps around the cable, creating a watertight seal. So I've got to put two of those in, I'll put them beside this one so the main engine loom comes off and I'll just run these on the inside of it with it. So I'll get some, uh, get me a Christmas tree drill bit, wherever that is. I wish the old man would stop making a mess. And um, yeah, drill it in and feed them through. So I've just put in the water methanol, uh, water methanol water level um, plug and uh, the two plugs for the hydraulic pump and the water methanol pump. Plugs galore. So I just need to work out what else I need to put in this box so I can um, start wiring the internals inside the box. So there's one of those aqua safety plugs. And that's the loom for the water methanol pump. So it goes the same way as that, up over the tank, back down and uh, plugs into it with the uh, heavy duty uh, two pin plug here. And comes back through the box there. What's this guy up to? getting ready to put the LEDs back into the boat. 
but the cable isn't long enough to reach from here back under to the box over there so I have to extend every single one so I've just taken some of this smaller wire out of this multi-core and I'm gonna have to solder and join every single one bring it back down to that box so yeah this is gonna be a bit of a time waster but it has to be done there they are all twitched together so I just need to solder and heat shrink so that's like quite a few to do but yeah perfect howdy it's uh, Friday um, I'm solo in the shed Devin's uh, stuffed his back up went to the doctor this morning and now he's uh, in bed can't move crook neck anyway last couple of days I've been working on my front floor area so I started off with these patterns that I cut out that for the floor this for the upstand so I made those and that is now turned into that which I'm quite happy with actually Devin doesn't like checker plate, has an aversion to it, so his is not going to be checker. So as I was saying, as the battery went flat, Devin doesn't like checker plate, so he wants me to cut his floor out of that ply, marine ply there, because he's going to carpet his in the front. I reckon there's uh, too much foot traffic in there, and the carpet won't last, but we'll see. So anyway, I've uh, I ordered some hinges online. They turned up last thing last night, so I'm just fitting those now. Then I've got a latch to go here, so that's a little bit of storage in there. Plus, we need to be able to see in there to look at our fuel level because we didn't put an electronic gauge. We just got a sight glass. Yes, yeah, so. Devon's, as I said, Devon's crook. He's still crook. Buggered his back or neck or something. So yesterday I welded in that support there for his floor. So now I've just got to cut that out and uh, make it fit. So I got my hinges fitted. And that all works good. So now I've just got to uh, fit the latch that I bought. So that uh, basically has a little key, which turns that. So now I've got to uh, put this shape into this plate here, which I've marked out here. So I'll uh, drill a 16 mil hole, then I'll file it out to the 19 mil for the thread size. So I'll use that to create the hole and then I'll file it in. Cool. So I've got my latch fitted, filed it out, all looks good. So on this side now I have to just put a packer in here for this to sit on at the right height. So I'll tack that on there, I'll put a bit of a lead in so that the striker leads in okay and then I'll tack that there and uh, should be job done. Move on to the next job. So my floor's in. I haven't bolted it down because I've got to take it out to get all the swarf from all the cutting and stuff that I've been doing. But uh, yeah, this works good. So, tick that off is finished. So what are you doing? Cutting out your wooden floor because you don't like cheek plate. Nice. I need something to hold that up. There's that table up there.
for you. I think I need a torque wrench. You can't swear. What? You can't swear. This is out into it and then make a hole for the fuel level. I got all the LEDs installed in here. You probably can't see it, but that was a mission trying to screw them in the back there. There's a very limited space behind there, but watch this. It's like um, a drag racing tree. But anyway, they won't all go on at once. They obviously have their reasons. But, um, oh well, we hope they don't go on at once, especially all the red ones. But um, yeah, so they're all ready to be linked into the balloon. So we're just chucking um, all the plug holes in the chicken. So that's, that's the hole for the Y band. As I was saying, they've got a molded plug on it already. So we're going to have to use this big thing. But in order to get it to seal, we'll um, put some of this heavy wall heat shrink on, which shrinks down and these quite a bit of meat, so that will be able to grab around That's it quite easily. Appeared earlier. So yeah, it shrinks down to about that. So we should be able to grab inside the seal and keep it watertight. But yes, there's a lot of plugs. The, uh, yeah. And yeah, see there it is there. There it goes. Cool. Busy corner. Well, we're gonna leave it there. Apparently the old man does have bees tomorrow. And I've uh, hurt my neck so I can't really do too much. Hard to move. Anyway. Um, got all the lights hooked in. Uh, it's cut my floor, so that's all there. It's finished his floor. Saw that. So the old man's mate came in. Uh, he's gonna uh, make us do our upholstery for our rear, rear seats, and he, uh, we had the idea that we'll uh, add another piece, weld it from here back to here. We won't weld it here, but it will sit on here and be welded in here, but we'll go up an angle so it gives the seat a bit more of a back rake. And it'll be attached to the whole cover, so when you lift it, the seat base will come with it. So if, to get, if you have to get there in a hurry, you don't have to pull the seat cushions out to lift it, so it'll all go with the cover. So that's uh, sounding a bit better, so we'll get some bits made for that and weld them in. Um, yeah, we're getting there. And then once, uh, oh, you keep saying that all the time, yeah, I know, but we are. But, um, <clears throat> once my other boxes come in from China, I'll be able to finish wiring of the internal of the boxes and uh, get that all sorted. Then we can plug it all in, and we're gonna have to sort out all this spaghetti and make it look nice because at the moment they're just everywhere, and we still have to run all our vacuum lines to all the things that need vacuum, so that'll be good fun trying to find out where to do it but 
I think everything in in the boat or the field is wired. So yeah, I got at least I got something done. I had a couple of days doing nothing because of my neck, so at least I got something done on those other two days. Got all the wiring looms and everything done. It's just a matter of fastening it all to make it look nice. So yeah. You might better start putting things in permanently. I thought we did that like six months ago. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We have to change those hoses. I'm not happy with that. We, I did that wrong for some reason. That should have been the input and that's the output, but it's the other way around. So we might have to get another piece of hose, swap those over. While the floor's out, I suppose we can wrap them with carpet because they need to be wrapped with carpet. Then I have to wrap my front floor with carpet. You're going to put a hatch in it? And I'll put a hatch in it. Um, Obviously, he's not going to wrap his disgusting checker plate, but that's all right. Um, yeah, we'll wrap that back carpet, and then we have to wrap the the engine cover and carpet because our, our seat squabs. So that's all going to be carpeted, and our seat squabs will just Velcro to them. So, say if we're going out and we don't take passengers, we can just pull them off, leave them at home, and put stuff in it. We could even go as far as putting a nice net across here. So if we're going camping or something, we can put chuck a net across and then just chuck everything in it. Yes. So that's about it for this episode. We'll um, catch up with you once I've got some more bits and in a couple of weeks. Ciao.